Hello and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm bringing two origami um, models. I'm going to teach you um, two origami models. So you ready, set, here we go. So our first model will be this inflatable heart. Inflatable heart. Um, it can be, you know, flammable. Like that. Ready, set, here we go. Okay, so for this uh, inflammable heart, you will require uh, kami paper, uh, pink soy, and um, it should be color on all sides because it should be a little bit confusing for, you know, that, uh, well, let me adjust my camera. I'll just wait a second, yeah. Now we are done. And just let's touch by folding the paper diagonally in half. Make sure the crease should be precise and unfold and you fold at the center here. And make only one fold at your like uh, folding at the half and now unfold and i'm just going to show you a primula fold and which yeah i'm just marking with sketch pen so that you can get the edge so it should be a diameter of 46.3 edge and uh, we just Fold along these edges like this. So, just fold properly. So, we have folded it properly, and now fold again in the other direction. Fold it up and now fold at the center, unfold, fold, fold up. Okay, so guys, I just forgot to fold. And then when you just fold this, just make an another fold. So if this is in half, just bring it up like this. And now fold these edges in half, not in half. Just you know, it just touches the edge. So unfold and do the same thing for the side. And uh, see. And the uh, you know, same thing on the other side. And um, what you have to do is you fold at at um, and just fold here this edge. And now just turn over and fold up to these edges, these two flaps. You are doing like your shazawas that unfold and just fold to the centers here. And now unfold and 
kind of fold so that these lines such like that so it should be aligned pretty nicely and one um, align to this edge perfectly so now um, make take these flaps and uh, you know just fold it to the pocket take these flaps and uh, fold it to the pocket like this and uh, fold up and do the same thing just put it the flaps pocket like that and now just for shaping we are done and just for making the original heart uh, just for shaping you just you know make these judgment folds folds that are can be done by your own also and uh, you can make it more shaping by turning it making it by more original Just see that how you made our heart, and now just time to inflate it by blowing air in this. You see this hole like that. I will just inflate. Pantra, we are done with our inflatable hearts. So hope you guys like this model and let's start with the next model. So our next model is this traditional cicada um, that's built by a simple square paper. Robert J. Lang has taught uh, that um, what are the complexities of the cicadas and I made all the levels of complexity like that. Um, a gentleman's like um, cicada opus and I even made Yoshizawa's Akira um, cicada you can just watch that video you can also understand um, Robert G. Lang's some lessons so this is the traditional cicada but this is a little bit complex um, because there are little bit swivel folds and uh, petal folds so let's start uh, because the cicadas look a little bit black or a little bit green, I'll just take one tissue paper foil. I'm just taking two by mistake. <laughs> okay, so I'm just taking one tissue paper foil, and this tissue paper foil can be available at any store. So now you just fold like not in half. In tissue papers, you know, you should not make um, more sharper creases or else you will you know your paper can tear and um, just fold it properly unfold again for the center now take these two flaps and fold it at center And just turn over and um, pull this edge a little bit down so that a second so that I'm just zooming in so that this edge you know makes a swivel and it just makes a pocket here so you just pull this pocket here down so that it aligns with this wing. So this is one part of wing. It is two centimeters as we seen at the yellow part, like that, and just hold it. Do the same thing on the other side by folding it in half like this. You know, you can just make like judgment folds in which it Robert J. Lang has shown it in the video. Uh, which um, Robert J. Lang has showed it in the video. 
just fold a line at the top to this edge and tissue and fold it up here down and now we are done with the base and the tail so now we have to make a petal fold in which you take one flap like this up and uh, you know just reach it up till let me mark so that you can get a proper diagram like it should be edge still here point and make a sharp crease oh, notification. and now just make a mountain fold by folding it back like this and now fold this flap down just fold here down make this mountain fold and align it this edge this Okay, so now I have to just make you have just finished so just turn over the paper and uh, now you can see like this base now just pull these two flaps to the center and uh, fold same thing on this side on turn on and we are made with our cicada you can just um, you know fold these two edges down like this. So we are made with our traditional cicada. This is a little bit simple, but I'll show you now the most simplest cicada of all times. Um, this is actually this now. Um, now what I'm going to show you that is how to fold a original traditional cicada. Let's keep this aside. Let's start by traditional cicada. Um, there are the same steps, but there's no swivel fold and no petal fold at all. So just you know, fold along in half. Just fast forwarding a little bit. it will be a silver fold because this is only valley folds only valley folds as rubber like chain sees so let's fold this flap down and um, this flap down so you will get at least a v-shape like shape and now just fold to the centers like this and uh, one And we have on full <laughs> no 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 just we made a small mistake by folding it just to this edge like this. Yeah, now it looks like a cicada. Yes. Full like this. And now we are made with the cicada. Then then this it even you know shows that it looks like a cicada but it's a little bit different um, than this because it contains um, petal fold and swivel fold so that's why it makes combines with more edges I could just draw the eyes cute cute eyes so guys hope you like this video I'm just bringing all this toy so it looks like a family two couple family so please subscribe to my channel hope you like the video Bye-bye.